Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, have you ever tried drawing straight to a tablet uh, you know, with an eye pen thing and it's it just sort of slides all over the glass and it's it's not a very tactile process because it's a plastic thing sliding over glass. Whereas if you're drawing on paper, you've got that kind of tooth to the paper in it and you have this kind of feedback. And yet maybe you want to make coloring book pages or you want to be able to draw in ink and then color in digitally. So how do you get that? So how do you convert the drawings that you've done on paper into digital files that you can then manipulate uh, digitally on a computer in Photoshop or Procreate or something like that? Well, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. So this is my sketchbook and I'm going to draw a butterfly. So I'm going to draw, sketch this out. We want the body kind of round about there. This is uh, basically a small tortoise shell uh, and that's going to sort of come around like that and around up to there and then we want those kind of bits coming down there. I think they're called wings aren't they? That's what butterflies are all about. So uh, people will always want to know what am I using? A uni pin brush pen. I kind of discovered these. Uh, actually Sea Writer Brighton sent me some to try out a little while back. They've got a bit of spring to them, which I like, and I'm sort of get, getting to slowly like these. So much that I went and bought a few more. <laughs> I was running out. So I'm gonna zoom that out there. So I'm sort of thinking that this will, you know, I'm gonna to want to be making a coloring book sheet. This is kind of loosely based on a, <laughs> on a small tortoise shell. And there we want to have kind of three bands of darkness there like that spot spot big spot big spot 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 and then we want something similar sort of coming around here actually should have a bit of a kind of a tail there it's a similar kind of thing this isn't a drawing lesson it's about creating something that we can uh, turn into a coloring page <laughs> The first thing you want to do is to make sure it's completely dry and kind of erase those pencil lines. So now I am going to take a photograph. Modern phone cameras are absolutely amazing. Incredible quality. I've used Apple Macs since way back in the early 90s. So it's very easy for me on my phone to whoosh it straight across uh, to my iMac or I could send it to an iPad. Moving the digital files around these days is really pretty simple. So let's see what we could do with that photograph. So here we are, this is opened in Photoshop. You could do, do this in the GIMP, which is a free digital software program. You can do this in pretty much any uh, semi-serious digital um, artwork program. So first of all, I'm just gonna have a look and see what we I've got here so we've actually got a, a, a very big this is a meter wide so it's a very big file which is great and I'm going to crop it first of all in Photoshop we have down here um, all these various things that you can do and we want to bring up the levels here on the right you will see a, a, a little kind of a graph thing and this blob here is all the black and all this is the white because there's a lot more of the white so at the moment, it isn't really white, is it? So we can um, just get rid of that by sliding along and make sure that it is white and not that kind of pinky brown color that you get sometimes when you try to photograph uh, <laughs> white paper. Um, and then as far as the black is concerned, if we zoom in a lot, you can see it's not terribly, terribly bad. But if we start sliding across, we can make it much darker and fill in all those spaces like that. And you will find you will be able to do this on most kind of art programs. So this is what we have going on on the layers here. And what I'm going to do is then come, um, I'm going to merge everything that's visible into one file. I'm going to unclick that. So now we want to color this in. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it and switch that one off so that we've got a copy in case we want to do that something with it. This layer here, I am going to change from normal to multiply. You'll find these effects on all sorts of drawing digital programs. Multiply is the one that you want. So we've got multiply. 
I'm going to add a new layer underneath it. And I know then that I'm going to want to have a kind of an orangey red, make that a bit more red like that. And then when I choose a brush, I'll make it a little bit bigger. So when you start painting underneath, it's going to fill it all in like that. A quick way is to go into the original, the top layer, be easier with my glasses on, <laughs> we'll colour that bit in. Now you might want to uh, then actually get another layer on the top because we want something that's more kind of darker and brown like that which we're going to have in the body kind of like that. So I'm doing this very very roughly so we'll do kind of around there like that. And then we actually want some blue and I'll make the pen brush a bit smaller. So I'm doing this very 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 roughly. <laughs> But you can see how with the uh, multiply function, you can just keep painting away underneath. And then I'm gonna go to much more, a much softer brush. So now with a much softer brush, I'm going to sort of waft in. Um, sort of, uh, so now with a much softer brush, then I can paint in uh, red on there and kind of make that a much more subtle. And you know, so you can <laughs> you can do whatever you like, really. Once you've, uh, I really want to have that more sort of pale as oh, oh my cat's wanting to come in, meowing away. <laughs> so uh, I want to have this a bit paler on the top there as well. Um, and as you can see, you can play around with it as much as you like. So I can switch off these colours, and uh, you've back to black and white, which you can print from, or you can switch the colors on and you can print from those. You can save this as a complete file with all these layers intact, which you can play around with and do whatever you like with later. So there you go. I hope that made some kind of sense. With a camera, you can take a photograph. If you haven't got a good one, then your friend might have, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the secret is the levels and you move the black up and the white down so that you clear all the rubbish and, and that also clears the texture of the paper which sometimes gets in the way as well. Uh, and then make layers and the top layer you keep as your black and white image and you convert that to a multiply so that everything that comes down below it, the white, although it stays there, becomes transparent so that you can put layers and layers of color down below. And you can do this with Photoshop or uh, Procreate or Affinity Photo. All sorts of programs like that will allow you to do that on your computer and on your tablet and probably on your phone as well. There are programs that will allow you to do that. If you want to start making a coloring book, of course, then you're going to need a publisher program as well, like InDesign or uh, Affinity Publisher or something like that. There you go. I hope that made some kind of sense. And if it didn't, um, put your comments in the box below and I'll see if I can help. I have lots of other kind of artwork publishing help on my Patreon page. So why not come and have a look at that? In the meantime, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more videos every week. And in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.